I met Colin Trevorrow and he sort of hinted something to me. Uh, and Steven Spielberg then called me more formally to ask, you know, how I would feel about the idea of Ellie Sattler returning along with a couple of her buddies. Um, and I was really excited by the idea. I think we all wanted her to return um, with a new sense of self and um, and have advanced as a character um, in her life and in her work. And so as they mined and uh, explored through the script what that would be, um, it became really exciting. It was important to Stephen and myself that Ellie was a feminist female action character in this large action movie. Um, sadly, that was uh, not common um, when we made the film and has become, thank God, more and more common. Um, but we certainly want to honor that and bring it even more to the forefront with all the female characters in this film. And um, I think to see who Ellie is today, what it means for her to be um, divorced, having raised kids, single, independent, um, and frankly, living the Alan Grant life and, and loving it, as she says in the film, is um, kind of a gorgeous starting place for this character. So when we were asked to do this, we assumed with the level of advancements in CGI, it would be amazing and digitally enhanced and but we worried, you know, you would lose that proximity. Um, and thanks to Colin really wanting to go back to the feeling of the original film, to, to complete this story with that same tactile, incredible gift of the animatronics, um, he has John Nolan creating genius and magic with a team of extraordinary artists, painters, puppeteers, and you walk on set. <laughs> and uh, are either completely disgusted or in awe or both, um, or your mouth is agape and you're seeing something you can't believe is there. Um, and sometimes it's magical and so sweet and sometimes it's your worst nightmare. Uh, but they make all of it come alive.